watching CNN. I'm Michael Holmes with this breaking news. North Korea has just launched a missile that may have landed in Japan's exclusive economic zone. Now, all we know at the moment is South Korean military officials saying it was launched from North Korea and landed in the sea east of the Korean peninsula. Of course, this coming at a time of great tension and renewed pressure uh, being applied by the US and others, at least verbally, on North Korea to roll back its nuclear ambitions. There is absolutely no sign that North Korea is willing to do that. Let's get to Paula Hancock's in Seoul. Uh, Paula, uh, another missile test. Uh, these are not unusual in recent months, of course, but it comes at a, at a pretty delicate time, doesn't it? Well, that's right. I mean, I guess it's always a, a delicate time these days when it comes to the relationship between the U.S. and, uh, and North Korea. Just a, a couple of details that we have coming in about the missile itself. Uh, as you say, that the Defense Ministry official saying it's an unidentified ballistic missile, that from Joint Chiefs of Staff. We know that, the, that President Moon Jae-in of South Korea has, uh, has called for a National Security Council meeting uh, with the top leaders in the country to, to discuss this. Uh, we do believe, according to the Japanese side, that it may have landed in their uh, exclusive economic zone. This wouldn't be the first time that this has happened, but of course it does uh, concern the Japanese greatly when this happens, uh, closer to the coastline there. So it was fired from North uh, Pyongyang province. This is on the west coast uh, of North Korea, fairly close to the border with China, and then fired in an easterly direction into the waters uh, off, uh, off the coast of, uh, of Korea. Now, certainly, it, it is always um, an interesting time for, for North Korea to be firing these missiles. One thing uh, that I should mention, though, is technically we're in the, the rainy season here in, uh, in Korea. We've seen some pretty torrential rain here in South Korea, likely the same in North Korea. And today is the first day that we're not seeing any rain. So it could also be a technical point uh, that they wanted to fire this missile and test this missile, but this is the first opportunity really they've had to do so. Michael.